Ladies and gentlemen, this is the featured bout of the evening. And it's brought to you by Ashmat Boxing Promotion and AFS Boxing. This is it, 12 rounds of boxing for the WBA. Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner, wearing gray and black official weight, 113.75 kilos. A perfect professional record consisting of 23 fights. 23 victories, including 21 wins by knockout from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. The mandatory challenger ranked as the WBA number two heavyweight contender in the world, the undefeated Lucas Big Daddy. And across the ring, fighting out of the red corner, wearing black, officially weighing in at 112.7 kilos. In 37 professional fights, 34 victories, including 21 wins by knockout, only two defeats with one draw. He is the adopted son of the people of Chechnya from Uzbekistan, Damigas Bada, the reigning defending two-time WBA heavyweight champion of the world, Ruslan White Tyson Shagayev! Watch about the rules. Take yourself at all times and pay my commands at all times. Good luck to you both. The well known face and voice of Stanley Christodoulou, it is who takes charge of this one. Chagayev against Brown. The big Daddy Brown on a roll. This is his biggest test, greatest opportunity. Okay. Is he up to it? He'll keep coming all night, we know that much. And with Nigel Ben over in Australia, he and the team headed up by Ricky Hatton have been working on speed and footwork. And already we see a little bit of that from Brown at the start of the first round. Well, he's a much bigger guy and he has a lot of natural advantages, but so does almost every boxer that Shagay has boxed, so he's used to that. And with the softball stance as well as Shagay Evans, that's a, that causes a problem for Brown. I think for me, Brown, don't give the better boxer any confidence, don't let him get into his rhythm. For me, I think better for Brown to not just walk into him, but to put a lot of pressure on him early and turn into a little bit of a dogfight, where Brown, who, who I feel is the bigger puncher, will have the better chance. Uh, Brown working behind the jab on the back foot early on. Doing quite well with it. Shagayev like obviously they go take the centre of the ring, but not having too much success there. Little left hand right hook over the top there from Shagayev, but Brown tripping up on the jab. Yeah, interesting. You know, yeah, this is going to refuse some revenue, which is which is quite clever for a guy who, who guy I've given no credit for for being any sort of ring intelligence, to be honest. Oh, the tattoos all over his body, giant frame too. And he's got his feet under the table. Maybe now the, the fight will start. It'll be interesting to see how Brown goes about it. And that Rodenko performance. There's a couple of fights he's really had to almost come from behind. Even the Richard Towers, uh, when he, in 2013, he, he had sort of nervy moments through early patches of that one. Good shot, but we're scrappy. Trying to get catching the arms. It's been, a, it's been an okay round here for, for Brown. Yeah, he's, he's got his jab working. He's landed a couple of those right hands to the body. He's had to take a few body shots off Shagayev. 
Overhand left there, good shot there from Shagayev. Interesting round. Brown had his moments there. Here we go then into the third. Is that one apiece, Barry? Maybe? I like well, the first level, to be honest. I don't think anyone did anything. But like, for me, I thought Brown done enough in that second round. And you can see the Chagames corner saying more pressure. He's keeping all trouble here, Brown. But that's it. Got to throw some punches. Good body shot. Cheers from his own corner as well. He just had shouts of yes, yes. As they both let go in the middle of the ring with a minute to go in the third. And Shagev just having a little bit of a better than that exchange. A nice little right hand over the top. Inside the final 20 seconds. Certainly enough, regardless of what's going on in the scorecard, certainly enough in the first three rounds to give Brown supporters plenty of encouragement and not a little hope. But he's certainly not at the depth, is he? That's for sure, in these early rounds. And just a left hand from Shagayev right at the end of that. Moving well, change direction, but when Shagayev let his hands go, they were the cleanest shots. Even, that, even at the very end, he blocked just kept his hands nice and high, blocked the little combination from, from Brown before he came back with a shabby little left hand of his own. The two, so he did get rid of the Pianetta in, in a round there. That was his first defence. Off this, uh, well, one off the WBA titles. It's the second defence tonight. Clubbing right hand from Lucas Brown at the start of the fourth. Good right hand again there from Brown. And with his size, it, it's an interesting tactic. It's a change of play here from Brown. Oh, it's a lovely uppercut there from Lucas Brown. But just just before that, the, but a different tactic here from Brown than what we're used to seeing. Yeah, it looks like he's come in with a game plan. It looks like they've worked on ideas and, and how they want to go about this job tonight. Which well, the foot was good, isn't it? Yeah, very much so. Uh, listen, it would have been considered mission impossible, this, I think, by many pundits. And using the jab well. I still love a from Brown, but it was blocked by Shagev, and he, he was doing the landing with the hook yeah. to the body. Uh, that, that really dug in, too. And again, good body shot. He just complained there, Lucas Brown. I think he felt that was round the, the back. Maybe even a kidney punch. But responded with a nice right hand of his own. And he's been giving his to and fro in this fourth round. Yeah, that was a nice right hand, short right hand from Lucas Brown that sneaked right through the guard. There he goes again. And he may have landed simultaneously. Yeah, but see, what it, that's the first time he's overcommitted with a shot there, Lucas Brown. And that, well, the tactics are totally different to what anyone would have expected. You know, boxing on the move. So in that last one, he did hold his feet a bit more, did try and take the centre of the ring, and that's what we're more used to from, uh, from the Australian. Good body shot there from Shagayev. His left hand, straight left hand on the middle. He, Shagayev needs that kind of with that right hook over the top, though, from that body shot. Really well with the jab, and he's had to establish a jab against the South Pole. So the position of, of Brown's front foot's good. No, he's not getting no box there, he's but totally off box, but he's getting a little bit picked off again. I never thought this. Lucas Brown dancing on the back foot, <laughs> throwing jabs, lead right hands. What's going on? Oh, a couple of left hands, he just wobbled yeah. there. Just a stutter of the step from Lucas Brown. Not all he does, he does it effectively, but... He won't, he won't break. He won't break pattern. He always shows when he gets hit, Lucas Brown, doesn't he? Almost like he's giving himself a telling off. <laughs> yeah. Good jab from Brown again. Oh, and a right hand too. 
and then did the right thing. I think I think doing the right thing, just stepping off, not letting Shagayev, because he is a counter puncher, Shagayev, and not letting not letting him get the, any punches back. You can see the of. smile when the left hand landed. The early start and then, and then finishing the round quite strong. Lovely left hand over the top there though. There's a little wobble of the legs. Yeah, landed right on the top of the head, that left hand. Often those are the ones that really jar the balance of a fighter, particularly get a reaction down past the waist. He's looking, in terms of the pace and energy, he's looking quite good so far, Lucas Brown. Is this the right sort of temple barry for, for Brown, or should, should he be letting more punches go? No, I think he's, I think he's, boxing, he's boxing great, look at that. He threw a little combination, three, four punches, moved out of the way then. Good left hand over there from Shagayev. Yeah, there was a, a the, cut. Yeah, there is a cut in the left eye, Lucas Brown. But it is a Lucas Brown fight, so we expect a cut. And the good thing about that, that he doesn't get affected by the cuts, as we've seen before in past fights, he, he'll carry on. Not looking as steady on his legs as he did a couple of rounds ago, though, Brown. And there's another big left hand and an uppercut. And suddenly the punch is starting to get through from the champion. Out to the crouch. So a smear of blood on the forehead of Shaggy, but I think that's come from Lucas Brown's wound. Oh, Great. big left hand. He just teased him with the right, followed through with a big clubbing left hand. And Lucas Brown is down with 30 seconds to go in the sixth. Well, we know how tough this Aussie is. And Shagayev is starting to get through. A massive breakthrough. 15 seconds to go. Just got to keep those hands nice and high now, Brown. And keep moving. Oh, he's got him again. Wobbled him with the left hand. We're inside the final 10 seconds. Can Lucas Brown hang on? He's trying to fight back. Bell set to go any moment. Another left hand, another uppercut. Referee has a look. Wobbled against the ropes. And there goes the belt. All out assault from Chagayev. Everyone on their feet after that rally response from their man. It was a great little two punch combination though to the first at the first knockdown. It was a whipping right hook to the body. Look at that. And then a looping left hook just round the guard of Brown, who doesn't have the tightest of defences. He followed it up with that big overhand left hand, and it caught him flush, Lucas Brown. That minute, has it been enough? And just a brief respite for another onslaught from Shagayev. The feeling now that Shagayev got the bit between his teeth. Mm. Oh, lovely from Brown. Look at these uppercuts. Three of them, one after the other. He goes in again, Lucas Brown. What a response this is. And as good a chin as that, that Shagayev has, and he has a tremendous chin. Don't want to see too many of those. There's a left hand. Wobbles Brown back again. Oh, credit him. A couple of uppercuts sneaking through the guard, and Brown trying to turn this into a war. Perhaps it's his only chance. Another right hand gets through. Shagayev slips back against the ropes. Oh, though, how much has that taken out of Brown? The cut seems to be worsening. They're making Shagayev think. Where Shagayev was come out that round, he wanted just to jump all over him. Just making him think a little bit more. No, that left hand went right over the guards. Brown's hands were down. Good uppercut again there from Lucas Brown. This is phenomenal stuff. You've got to say, the look how strong Shagayev still looks. Oh, great. Another left hand and the right. Oh, and he sags back. Lucas Brown and a big sigh. Oh, that hurt him. He's looking weary now. There's still a minute to go in the seventh. Oh, look at this. Great response. Again from Brown. 
Just when you think the referee maybe might look at the step in, maybe one more big shot and he fires back. Well, he saves himself to another one. Well, there's, there's, still a, there's still 40 seconds to go, I think, wasn't there? With blood coming out of just about everywhere. I think he might have a cut in his forehead now as well. He might be bleeding from his nose. But how much heart and courage did he show in that round? Well, Chege would come out in the wrong, you know, he didn't rush up, but that's not his style. He'd come out to, to finish off, to carry on for what he finished off in the previous round. And then Brown just come out with those fabulous, that must have landed with six or seven cracking uppercuts. Who can take the initiative? Who's got most left? What's next? Those questions to be answered as we head into the eighth round. Only wearing you down. What a couple of rounds those were. Down in the sixth and seemingly teetering on the brink, Lucas Brown responded, retaliated, and more than held his own in that pulsating seventh round. And it wouldn't be a surprise if they just wanted a lull in proceedings in this eighth. It's been an entertaining fight. It's been a surprising fight the way the way Brown has boxed so well in the last two rounds, for sure, have been really good stuff. Oh, no matter what happens now, Lucas Brown has done him his team, his family, and his country proud. And he's also probably, as he walks onto another left-hand, silence to a few of the critics too, who wondered if he was worthy of this challenge. <laughs> and oh, it could get better. Wall breakfast would taste mighty sweet and fine if Lucas Brown could produce a miracle comeback here. Showing some nice bit of skill there, Brown, right hand, leaning out of the way. Just kept Chag a little bit quiet in this round. And again, making Chagayev miss with that wild right hand. I'm not saying he's doing it, maybe doing enough to win the fight, but he's, he's in the fight, that's for sure. And, might, might, and could very well be ahead. You know, you just think after a knockdown in the, in, the, in the sixth round, he didn't have high hopes for him. He looked in real trouble, didn't he, going back to the corner. In the eighth, clawing his way back into it. How good this a jab being tonight for, for Lucas Brown? A guy you don't really, you know, when you think of Lucas Brown, the, the jab's not the first one that comes into your head. And it's, but it's been impressive. And against the South Ball as well. And again, it's Brown trying to get on the front foot. But what he hasn't been able to do, Brown, up to this point, is trouble Shaggy with his power. And that's, that's all, uh, we all know that's testament to Shaggy, he's so strong and, and resilient. That's good there from, from Rustin Shagayev. Inside the final 20 seconds. But even those little fidgety movements there from Brown, just enough to keep Shagayev thinking a half a second to think what he's going to do. Gives Brown a chance to move. I think it's been a, a clever performance here by Brown. But boxing better than I ever thought he could. Yeah, there's a little nod of appreciation, acknowledgement there, wasn't there, from Shagayev? Well, it's not the lump, you thought it was going to just be a big, strong lump. Maybe just Chagayev setting some control after a worrying couple of rounds where Brown really dug in. Roslyn Chagayev to do well. He's probably doing well enough as we head into the 10 and down the stretch. Clubbing away with a couple of right hands. Start of the 10. Oh, one far off with that left hand there, was he? Shagayev. Tansko, he's getting himself in the right position there, Shagayev, and that's that better doubling up the jab. And then uh, there's that left hand, not far off the target. Just over a minute to go in the 10. Certainly the way the heavyweight division is sort of taking shape and evolving and maybe changing shape now, Barry. Fighters like Chagayev will be viewed as the old guard and, and oh, yeah, beat very sure, much yeah. beatable. Definitely, you know, because I think you know, with the emergence of Tyson Fury, Deontay Wilder, they're, they're all of a sudden we have. Oh, good. Oh, what a right oh, hand. Oh, wow. Right hand from Lucas Brown. And with a minute to go, Chagayev is on the canvas. He's taking his time getting up. Seven. He looks wobbly. He doesn't know where he is. We could be on the cusp of a shock here in Grozny. Right hand again, he's in trouble. Lucas Brown goes for the finish. Uppercuts, 
Referee has a good look. He's staggering back against the ropes, which appear to be keeping him up. He steps in. Lucas Brown has done it. Oh, my word. Can you believe it? The unthinkable, the miracle has happened right before our very eyes. And there may be booze from the home fans here in Grozny because their hero, <laughs> what a performance. There's always going to be booze from the crowd when the home fighter is, is finished on his feet, but he was gone, he really was. Look at that. He got caught square-footed there, and it looked like Brown boxed the fight of his life. And it looked like the tie was starting to turn in Shagayev's favour because he was standing his boxing together, coming forward there. Brown with the longer arms. Shagayev square, square onto the target. It's a Brown got power all the time, and Shagayev's taking all the powerful shots. But what a lovely right hook that was. And then you knew he was going to be in trouble. Got up on unsteady legs already, and Brown just clubbing it with that right hand all around the ring, and then letting both hands go. Placement from Michael Buffer just to put the seal on it for Lucas Brown. Champion of the world from Australia, still undefeated. Lucas, Big Daddy Brown! Not only is Lucas Brown the winner, he is one of the heavyweight champions of the world, and he does it spectacularly with a come-from-behind knockout performance. Take a bow, sir. Your country was watching.